sometimes uh, people ask us, but quite honestly not very often, about uh, uh, what is the purpose of the Native Spirit Lodge. Uh, actually, I guess people go into uh, stores and just buy things, and they think that it's just a place that you're selling merchandise for. And uh, a lot of times they'll go to large powwows and they'll buy things and they say, oh, isn't that cute? They're making trinkets. Most Native people that are making these things are putting their spirit into it and they want to share the spirit of what they felt towards making this beautiful thing uh, with other people. Uh, at the Native Spirit Lodge, we do have a reason and a purpose. And that is that years ago, I was privileged to uh, be introduced to Native Spirit, which is the spiritual belief of... Uh, some Native Americans. Uh, I know there's the uh, different regular religions as far as the Native people is concerned, but most of it uh, is basically the spiritual belief. Um, after I went through a very long uh, spirit quest with the one we call Grandfather, which was years and years and years ago, uh, some would say many moons, but that's mostly stuff from the movies, um, what happened was um, he asked me, he said, why don't you uh, share this with other people? Now, he didn't tell me, share this, go you for conquer all nations or anything, but share it with other people. And so I said, okay. And so I thought, well, what am I going to do? Am I going to go to the park and I'm going to uh, go up to people and tell people, have you heard the word? Or no, it's, it's, it's not the native way. Uh, they've never been out recruiting people. So what I decided to do was start to sell things. So I would sell turquoise and different things and things that I made. And, and as I would tell, sell them, uh, I would tell stories. And uh, people enjoyed the stories. Uh, over the years, I've picked up um, maybe 200 different native stories that uh, most have a very good meaning behind it. And uh, so I decided that, well, I don't want to be going to the park and I don't want to be going to selling things at farmers markets and that type of stuff. So I'd open a little store or I'd sell at a swap meet or something like that. And then grandfather said to me, what happens is you do not direct where you're going to go. The red road will lead you. And the red road led me into this place. And I tell people all the time, I don't really own it because in the native community, people really don't own things. It's just something that happens to be shared with others. So this is a beautiful place that I like to share with other people, but at the same time, it's an opportunity for me to speak about the Great Spirit, the Great Mother, and the Great Mystery. And when people ask me questions about that, or if they're talking about different things, I have an opportunity to speak on that particular subject, too. It is a spiritual belief, and uh, I think it's very powerful because it doesn't have a lot of rules. Uh, the only basic rule is as long as you don't hurt somebody else, it's okay. And the rule is also uh, if you're going to pray, uh, do an act of kindness towards other people. Very simple. As simple as you can get. I hope you people enjoy it. Uh, I've enjoyed bringing it to people. Uh, I'm not some sort of a missionary standing on a street corner shouting hallelujah or anything like that. But uh, in my quiet way, I'm trying to tell people about there is something out there that is uh, more meaningful than uh, having a book of rules that uh, goes on forever and ever, and this is what you must do. Or else you'll be punished. And, well, I don't know about that. Native Spirit Lodge, Native Spirit. Thank you.